What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Zeus. Thank you for tuning in to another video today. Guys, I am finally dropping the video I have wanted to drop. I've been wanting to drop a video for the best mods for a Dodge Challenger. All of these mods that I have for my car can be done on a V6, a RT, a Scat Pack, and a Hellcat. Even a Demon, you know what I mean? So, to me, these are the best mods that are for a Challenger, the best looking mods. Um, and just, in, you know, just in my opinion, you know what I mean? Like, this is everything that, I, that I've done in my car and I feel like it'll make your car look way better. And you, you can see, there's Zeus in the back, sitting very, very pretty. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you that, guys. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so here we are. I'm gonna go back to front. I'm gonna do outside first, then I'm gonna do the inside. But the very first thing that I done when I got this V6 Challenger was I went to a buddy of mine and I had my tail lights tinted. So when you first get the car, it comes with like this red and white, and I honestly didn't like it. I like the like the very, very black look. To me, it looks more clean. And he also tinted my side markers also. So I felt like that was just like a, you know. So guys, dealing with mods, it's like the very, very small things that are very, very important. The second thing that I did was I went to SNS Cousin Exhaust. Shout out to them. They are in Jacksonville, Florida. And I got my um exhaust tips done these are four inch quad tips um a lot of people were asking me did the quad tips make a difference in the sound to me it does um so it plays to me like it plays like a very very big role so i love these quad tips at first it came with these little oval type uh tips but i really like the quad tips way better um yes as you've seen from my last video there is my Ricker bill that I installed, and now I have my my YouTube channel on there. Also, the window louver that a friend of mine hit me out with. Y'all yeah, go follow him on YouTube at One Killer Cat, and also Red Key TV. Now moving on to the side of the car, make sure that you guys get a black gas cap because Dodge put these little. Um, kind of like chrome and to me dodge put way 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 too much chrome on these cars so that was that was very a necessity to have on the car next i have my wheels uh these are the demon replica oem wheels um i got these off of a box website um this is a very very powerful car yes it is a b6 guys it is but it is still a very very powerful car so you need to have big tires uh, I am rocking uh, P zeros, uh, 295, 3020s, and guys, these things stick to the ground and go. Um, like every now and then, um, I won't get any traction, but so far I have these on there for about two months, and so far, you know, these have been great. These are my favorite um, wheels right now, besides the new ones that Dodger came out with, it's the Cave In. Uh, Hellcat wheels that has been on the wild body um, And just moving along I did go to Graphics Mafia uh, Shout out to them I also got some vinyl work done This is my Instagram Zeus.xxt Make sure you guys capitalize the Z And that's my YouTube channel And I'm moving on the car Back again Now we're in the front wheels Same thing Box Demon Replica wheels in the front, I'm, I want to say I'm rocking a 285, 35, 20s. I want a, uh, on a nine-inch rim. So yes, guys, you can fit a 295 on a nine-inch rim. It does fit very, very well. Now moving on to the front. Yes, as you can see, I do have. No, I'm sorry, I do not have a lip on my car. Yes, so. I tried to take off the stock lip. I ended up taking it off, and God, that was a pain in the butt. I regret doing it, and I bought the one that comes on the scat packs because they're supposed to fit my front bumper, but the one I bought didn't fit, so I'm currently waiting on the one that fits. But as you can see, 
I do have LEDs. These are the Op 7 LEDs. You can get these off of Amazon. I will have this in the description below. That's my name, Zeus. I feel like that was like a, you know, like a nice little touch to have. And I did also blacken out my front grill. My front grill did not come like that. It came chrome. And I just feel like I say I feel like the black front is just like a, you know, like a better uh, finish to have. Um, what else, guys? Oh, the hood, the roof, and the trunk, and the spoiler. Um, I bought the car that way, but I knew the guy who had the car before me, and he did get this wrap mat. And guys, I just love the way it look. You know, to me, like I, like I said, it just makes the car look way, way, way more aggressive. I just love the way it looks, guys. I am in love with this car. I didn't have the car for about uh, for about two years now. And see, dealing with these window louvers, you have to make sure that you always come out and check and make sure that it is still sticking. And just make sure that you are good to go. I have in the past, I did paint my brake calipers. They've been painted about four times, guys, honestly. When I first got the car, I painted them red. Then I painted them orange. Then I painted them green. And then I just decided it's, it's to paint them black. You know, just black. Give us that nice little uh, feel. Nice little finish to, you know, go with the wheels. And, you know, this is, you know, this is my baby. You know, this is, you know, this is my, my baby Zeus. I love to take care of my car. Shout out to my car club. Follow us on Instagram at OTM Jax. That's O T M J A X X. I will, I will also have their link inside the description. And now we're going to move into the inside of the vehicle. All right, guys. So when you open up my car door, this is the first thing that you will see. I do have the Goof interior lights at the bottom. I didn't worry about doing it for the back seat because there's really nobody in the back seat besides my child. Um, I also installed the Hellcat paddle shifters, guys. Yes, I love these things. My car did not come with uh, with paddle shifters at all. So I was always having to use this bad boy right here, shift up and down with that. And just using this take, takes away about... I want to say like two seconds from having to, you know, come down here and shift and me just using these right here. And I just like these way better. Um, I also got the purple outline. Um, I will have to show you guys at night how it looks at night. But guys, at night, it looks great. Um, the car is very, very bright in the inside. This is the remote control for the Op 7s LEDs that I have. Um, you can get this off of... Um, off of Amazon too as well. Uh, it's not that hard to install. Literally, guys, all it is is just some 3M double-sided tape that you got to just put on of your headlight, and it's very, very simple. Um, I got these right here off of Amazon as well, just to match the purple that I have going on. As you can see, purple is like my theme. Purple is one of my favorite colors, guys. Um, as you can see right there, I do have the pedal box. Uh, shout out to Hemi Life 44. He's in Dallas, Texas. Um, I watch his videos as well. Um, and he put me on the pedal box, guys. I love it. The pedal box basically um, takes away from, like, it takes away the lag from off of your pedal. So basically, whenever I hit the gas, I get a full response. It's no lag. Uh, my car is tuned, um, so I am running the um, the Hemi Fever tune. So that means that I did have to change out my PCM. I have to get a new one because Dodge puts the ones inside of the car lock. So you have to buy one that's already unlocked. Um, what else, guys? What else? Um, oh yeah, I did get the front window strip going on. Uh, that helps out a lot as well because when you drive and once again the sun will, will be in your eyes and just getting that up there i want to say that's like 30 percent um i didn't want to do the whole windshield because i already can't see at night because my windows are 10 percent and i already cannot see at night 
So I don't want to get the whole front windshield. So I just got the little front strip. Um, oh yeah, last but not least, I do have the taser. If you don't know what the taser is, I'm, I'm going to show you what the taser does right now, guys. So here we have the taser and the taser gave me this right here. This does not come inside of a V6 Challenger, especially a 2015. I have the 2015 base model V6 and the taser does nothing really performance wise. It just, it's more for the looks, if you know what I mean. So I got the performance pages, right? And I can also click right here. I'm gonna let that load up. Boom, SRT performance pages, guys. Yes, my car is silver, so I got lucky with having a silver one, but I can go down the engine and literally, guys, it shows my horsepower. It shows everything for me, guys. Everything's work, the G-Force works, the gauges works, and also the timers, guys. Everything work. I will be taking this V6 to the track and seeing what numbers I could get on there since I have a tune on here. The last time I had on the dyno, I dyno with having stock RT power, which is 395 horsepower. My car comes stock with 305 to the wheel. So I was, I gained about, give or take like 85 horsepower with the tune. Also guys, since my car didn't come stock with pedal shifters, um the taser did that the taser let me use my powder shifters guys of course you can't see it now because you know the car's in park so it's not going to really show and also it gave me see how like everything is red it's literally everything that a hellcat challenger has g-force the peak g-force the lap timer lap history oh and there's my top speed guys don't don't know me driving that fast though the vehicle info trans temp oil temp it literally shows everything you guys the taser is a wonderful thing and it also gives me some special features like line lock my car didn't come with line lock so that gave me the ability to do burnouts and it also gave me a few other features but i'll be making another video on if you guys want to buy a taser i will show you guys how to install it show you guys what it has done to my car and all the free mods that it gives you on the taser so that is pretty much all of the mods that i have done to my car i will give you guys a few revs show you how my car sound when it starts up and we'll just go from there guys video thank you for tuning in again and i just want to show you guys the best mods for your challenger really um these mods to me like i said makes the car look way better just in my opinion you know for any trim of the challenger but i'll catch y'all guys in the next video peace